tacos. Oh my goodness, guys. It has been forever. Tacos. It's Taco Loaded Tuesday. It literally has been forever since we've done a Taco Boat It Tuesday. I looked. It's been a month. It has, it's been a whole month. A whole month has whizzed right by us without a Taco Boat It Tuesday and no fun taco song. Like, I don't even know how we've managed. I'm just, I'm going to say that. I've, I have missed the taco song. I have missed Taco Boat It Tuesday. I hope that you guys also have missed Taco Boat It Tuesday. So today we're going to talk about some of the things that we're kind of not doing lately. So for me, it's some of my regular lives have kind of gone by the wayside. I've been super focused on making recipes and doing interviews and I realized that a whole month has gone by since we just sat down and chatted together. And I super miss that. Hello, my darlings on Facebook. Lisa, Terry, it's so nice to see you today. And I want to talk about some of the things that maybe you guys aren't doing right now. Are you exercising? Are you eating good? Are there things in your life that have kind of just slid while we're focused on other things. I also did make myself a little snack to have and I just posted a quick video on TikTok about this using the coconut wraps and I really, really, really like them. I just tried them for the first time the other day and I'm a big fan. I did buy them locally at a health food store but you can find them on Instagram and find their website and see where they're available to you. They're meant to be used just as a sandwich wrap, but I've been using them for a toasted wrap to make like little melties. I made some tuna rangoon out of them the other day. But for me, they're a really nice quick fix if I don't feel like making a wrap. And unlike the low carb wraps, these ones don't have any wheat in them at all. So the full ingredient list on this one is coconut meat, coconut water, and unrefined coconut oil. So unless you have a coconut allergy, these ones would probably be a really, really good solution to the low-carb wraps. Now, if you're doing a dirty keto, the low-carb wraps don't really matter. If you're eliminating by ingredients, then we don't want the wheat. Wheat is one of the things that we're wanting to eliminate. So it's not always just about the carbs. Sometimes it's about the ingredients as well. So hello glow zip on TikTok. I decided what the heck, why not turn on my TikTok live too and take any questions from there as well. So today is taco about it Tuesday and we can pretty much taco about whatever we want. Mostly, I just wanted to say I miss you guys. <laughs> like, I miss just sitting down and hanging out and doing Q&As with you. The last two weeks has been insane getting together Halloween recipes. So I haven't really been doing an awful lot other than getting my butt in the kitchen and creating as much as I can. I do have a cool new feature coming for you guys on YouTube probably the beginning of November. I'm doing a fun collaboration with Deer Creek Homesteading on YouTube and we're going to show you guys how to grow sprouts at home. So I'm super excited about that. On TikTok they kind of have the behind the scenes because I've been making the progress videos on TikTok. So if you want a sneak peek and you don't want to wait Go, go check out my TikTok and you can see what I've got on the go for this collaboration. It's going to be a fun one. I love growing what I can at home. It's so economical. It's so convenient. And I'm really excited to share that knowledge with you guys so that you can grow sprouts at home too and save a, a small fortune. Let's be honest. A little pack of alfalfa sprouts. I don't know where you live. In Canada, they're about $6. 
And if you don't use them within three or four days, that's $6 to the garbage can, which never happens at my house. <laughs> that's a lie. Every time I buy sprouts, I end up throwing away at least half of the container. So when I'm able to sprout them at home on my own, I can make the right amount and not make more than I can use up in two or three days, four days at the most. And then I'm able to not waste a lot of money in fresh vegetables because man, my mama always taught me, I don't care what you eat. I have no issue putting food in this house. What I don't do is feed the garbage can. I don't feed the garbage can. And they, I will say, I stressed that with my son when he was small a lot as well. If you don't want to eat it, you can put it in the fridge. You can have it for a snack later. But mommy doesn't feed the garbage can. And once he was, I'm going to say probably about three, and he was having a sleepover at grandma's house. And they had had bacon and eggs and hash browns and the whole deal for dinner the night before. And Isaac was not able to finish his food. So he, like he always did, put it in the fridge to eat later. I'm on the phone with my mom and he takes out his plate to eat some of it. And he comes up to her and he says, Grandma, I can't, I, I can't eat all of my food. Can I put it in the fridge and have it for later? And my mom, bless her soul, <laughs> sweet woman she was, says, Oh, honey, you don't have to eat that. You've already eaten off that plate twice. You can go throw that away. And he bursts into tears. I just want to save it for later, Grandma. I just want to save it for later. So I know I really strained that, stressed that with him when he was little. Because at the end of the day, we don't mind spending money on good food, quality produce. What every mom hates is throwing it in the garbage. It's pointless to spend half of your budget and then it goes to the garbage can. So that's going to save us a lot of money in specialty ingredients because sprouts and microgreens are expensive and fancy and you'll see them at all the really nice fancy restaurants and we can get that feeling at home, have the luxury, the fancy little extras on our food and not spend a fortune for them. So I wanted to show you guys what I did for my little chicken wrap. So I took half of one coconut wrap and I just put a little bit of chicken salad on it, which I mixed up with just canned chicken and mayo, spread it on there and then rolled it up and put it in the oven just to brown. So just a quick, easy two bite snack. This would make a really good party appetizer too, instead of a wonton, just a quick, easy, put it on a snack platter. So I'm gonna have a taste and show you guys what it turned out like. Mm. It really is a one bite thing. All my filling flowing out the bottom. Mm. But look at how nice that is. If you're missing wraps, if you're missing the texture of having a wrap, having a bread, there are alternatives and solutions that we can find quite easily. We just need to be a little bit more creative than the average bear. So Glowzip says, who's this? Who's this? Who let the dogs out? I'm Dory. If you guys are new here, we talk mostly about keto. We talk about health, wellness, mental health. We talk about pretty much whatever we feel like. If it's something that we're going through and we're stressing out about, we bring it here and we chat about it here. We always have the bright lights in the kitchen, the disco lights, uh, they're fabulous. They were a one-time thing, one time, and everybody fell in love with them. So now it's lights always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did hear, I did hear, Trisha. Paola, nice to see you. Trisha says, have you heard? Baby Barry is here, baby Barry is here. He is. Uh, someone literally just sent me the Instagram post. Let me find it for you guys so you can see baby berry has finally arrived and on tiktok if you guys don't know who i'm talking about we're talking about ken berry's little baby boy was just born yesterday so i'm super 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 excited to get to see more pictures of baby berry but here is the official announcement 
that baby Barry has been born. Isn't he sweet? Oh my goodness, look at that face. Like, hello face. So yes, baby Barry has been born and we'll be looking forward to Dr. Ken's page for any updates. Dr. Ken is on TikTok too, by the way. He's not really all that active there yet. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. <laughs> but he is on TikTok. So if you guys go want to go check out his page, you can check him out on TikTok. He's on Instagram. He's on Facebook. He is on YouTube. He's a lot of fun, and he knows a lot about keto. So definitely check out new baby Barry. Paola says, my mom always said there are children in Ethiopia who throw themselves on the floor to catch a grain of rice. So we don't waste any food in this house. And that's a wise, that is a wise mama. Like wise, wise mama. Yes, he is so sweet. I love babies. I'm, I'm a baby people. I'm a kid people. My son is 21 years old now, but I don't, forget when he was little and I don't not miss it oh my goodness I miss it so much I'm like can you just be little again do it for me when you were two you promised me you would never grow up you promised and he did I totally <laughs> I, I totally made him promise he was never gonna grow up I knew he couldn't keep the promise but I thought if I made him make it you just you don't know and he just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger anyways by the time he was 13 he would be sarcastic and walk around on his knees for me so I could at least feel like when he was little but it wasn't good enough because I was like you're not little enough <laughs> get lower <laughs> he has he has a very good sense of humor to deal with me I'm just gonna say that my son has an amazing sense of humor to deal with me and what I get up and do on the internet like let's be honest he's 21 I'm pretty embarrassing when I first started my YouTube channel he had all of his friends subscribe to me to show me support especially because I was trying to get my first 100 subscribers so that I could go live and then one day I was sitting in the kitchen and I can hear Isaac coming upstairs and he goes to me so mom I'm, uh, I'm just scrolling my YouTube feed and this colorful keto with Dory lady pops up. I didn't turn around because I knew what I did that day. <laughs> I, I knew what I did. And I said, oh yeah, was she uh, dancing around in a unicorn suit? And he said, yes. And talking about wearing too big of underpants. So... Thank you for that. Um, I kind of wish you had told me what sort of content you intended to put out before I had all of my friends subscribe to you. <laughs> and I literally, I did a video talking about how we put off buying the necessities that we need. I won't lie. I rolled down my extra large underpants for a long time because I didn't want to buy a new size. And uh, I said to him, you know, your friends could unsubscribe to me now. I have, I have enough subscribers. I have enough supporters. They're more than welcome to unsubscribe to me. And he said, oh, mom, that ain't never going to happen. Do you know how much fun they have? Every time you post a new video, they ain't going to unsubscribe. <laughs> and I said, well, tell me their usernames. I will block them. I will block them and then you won't have to worry about it and he said no don't bother if you block them that will only make them try harder and they will just make fake accounts to follow you again I'll just live with it <laughs> I love you son I do talk about some pretty embarrassing things you know if you're a 21 year old things you might never want to hear your mama say. Probably don't want to hear your mom talk about her underpants and how they're too big. <laughs> but I will say that I appreciate that my family is so patient with me with what I do. They don't understand it. Trust me when I say they don't understand. They don't understand what I do. They don't understand the drive to do it. It's kind of silly to them. 
but at the same point, it makes me happy. And they're just happy that I have something that makes me happy. And keto came to me at a time when I really needed it. I really, really needed it. I was at my lowest point. I was suffering the hardest from my depression. And every day was a challenge. It's hard for me when I look back at those days because it really... In some ways, it feels like it was yesterday, and in some ways, it feels like it was an eternity and a lifetime ago. But that is honestly, Dory Emotional, why I focus so hard on what we do here, on helping other people learn, because keto changed my life so much, and not just in weight. I mean, my weight that I've lost isn't really that much. What it's changed for me is my outlook, my opinion, my perception. Honestly, everything I think about life has been changed by keto. And it happened because keto was the first thing that I didn't know enough about and I didn't let that hold me back. There's a lot of things in my life that I've wanted to do and I thought, oh, well, I don't, I don't know enough about that to do that. And when I got bit by the keto bug, I knew nothing. Like zip, zero, zilch, nada, nothing. I watched one video and I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to keto. Oh my God, I'm keto. <laughs> and I started from there. So I know that it only takes one. One silly thing. One moment. One seed of thought to change somebody's life. The video that changed my life was probably the lamest keto video I've ever seen. It was, you know, just a propaganda ketones video, but it was enough. That was enough to spark my mind, to give me the idea, to give me the desire to start something new. And I think if one person watches one video I do and they decide, hey, you know what, that Dory girl looks pretty fun. She looks like she's having a good time. I want to have a good time too. I want to try keto. Then it's all worth it at the end of the day. What we do together takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. I pour a lot of my heart and soul into the content that I put out for you guys, whether it be recipes or Q&As or just sitting down and talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, I spend probably 12 to 16 hours a day, seven days a week on keto. So it's not something that's going away anytime soon. It is a million percent part of my soul. So I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about what are some of the segments that you're missing? What are some of the things that we did together on a regular basis that maybe we haven't been doing quite as much and that we want to pick back up on. Oh, Miss B. Hello. Where have I been? I've just been busy making food. I'm not going to lie. I've been just making recipes and I don't generally do those as a live anymore. It's much easier to record them on TikTok, but I'm thinking we're going to do another um, watch me do a TikTok recipe where I bring you guys live and show you the process of setting it up and taking it as a TikTok video so you guys can see. It's just worked out to be a much easier format for me to put together way more recipes in a much shorter amount of time for you guys. So I haven't really been hopping on live quite as much. We did do a live Q&A last Wednesday and we did a motivational Monday this Monday. And that's when I realized, I was like, hmm, it feels like it's been a while. And I looked at my YouTube channel. It's been four weeks since we did a motivational Monday. And I realized I was wearing the same outfit. So I think it might be my motivational Monday outfit. Because <laughs> I realized I was accidentally wearing the same outfit. So, so funny for that. So that's kind of what I've been up to. We still have a couple more weeks of that leading into Halloween. I want to get some more fun recipes out for you guys. This month is super exciting for me too. I got two feature, well, 
two separate features with two different recipes this month. So if you subscribe to Keto for All Canada subscription box, the October box has my exclusive recipes in there. You're going to find um, recipes for Chase Mixer's gummies, and you're going to find a recipe for the blueberry waffles that I made with the dairy-free marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow fluff, I guess we'll call it. Marshmallow cream, marshmallow spread with that. And then those features, those recipes are also featured in my local magazine, The Newsy Neighbor. So that's something we're going to start doing on the monthly. For November, it is the seniors edition. So we're going to talk about seniors health, Alzheimer's, dementia. I'm going to write an article for them and provide a nice fun recipe that's easy for you to make with a small amount of ingredients and a little amount of work. So that's coming up for November. So many new exciting things on the way. I have also been talking with Chris from Keto for All Canada and we are going to plan a keto event in Calgary. In Calgary or in Strathmore, perhaps both. So that's something I've got on the go in the background. And as more details come up for that, as we get more organized, I will let you guys know so that you can help me share the information and get as many people out as possible. Because at the end of the day, what we do is about sharing. What we do is about helping everyone around us live their best life, be healthier, be happier, live without depression, without anxiety, without stress, and without having to take a whole shit ton of medications. So that's what we're doing together. If if there's anything that we haven't done in a while, there's a few features that we've been missing that I think I kind of want to bring back. Talk about it Tuesday is number one. We love the taco song. It's awesome. Hello. <laughs> and it makes me laugh every time. I literally can't have a bad day after I've talked about it Tuesday. It's it's too much fun. Uh, getting over the hump Wednesdays, sometimes we talk about stalls, struggles, things that we have going on. Sometimes we use that as a QA and a day for a guest. So that one may stay, we might phase it out. But I'm curious to know what kind of content you guys want more of. Are you wanting more recipes? Are you wanting more interviews? Are you wanting more one-on-one -on -one q a are you wanting more vlog style posts where you guys get to come with me shopping and go on day events and things like that with my family those are things we've been kind of bringing into the mix a little bit as well um, for a while we were doing spill the tea thursdays and those were fun we might bring that back that was kind of a little bit of fun those are mostly the days we talk about the stuff that ticks us off we talk about things like Jillian Michaels and the standard American diet and, you know, the fat acceptance movement, the kinds of things that just kind of stick in your craw. We talk about those on Thursdays and Friday. We've been doing fun flavor Fridays, so not consecutively every Friday, but generally I try to put out two or three recipes every Friday that are fun snacky recipes to get you through the weekend. Now, we also have U.S. Thanksgiving coming up. That already happened in Canada. Been there, done that, had a blast, loved it. Totally going to celebrate with you guys too. So if there's any family dishes that you like to take to Thanksgiving and you want to know how to keto them, we're going to start a can you make it keto feature and you guys can send me your standard recipes. I will keto them. We will talk about it. I'll show you how to make the new version of the recipe. And then we can have all of the classic traditional dishes that we love. Last year, I did a keto sweet potato pie, which is a pumpkin and collie base. So we made a traditional sweet potato pie. We made a cream cheese pumpkin pie that was dairy free. We made a lot of really fun Thanksgiving recipes last year. I did stuffing bowls this year. So if there's anything that you're really missing that you're wanting, let me know and let's get that for you for your Thanksgiving dinner. Then we have Christmas. Then we have New Year's. 
then we have Valentine's Day, then we have Easter. So every season, something's going to be rolling around. So if there's things that you're wanting, let me know. I would rather spend the time creating something for you than having you go off plan and think, you know what, I can have this one thing. Because maybe you can, and maybe you can go on plan the next day and it won't bother you. But too many of my friends have done that one cheat meal, one time that turned into a cheat week, that turned into a cheat month, that turned into a six month cheat. So if you're stressed out and you're thinking, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to eat off plan, we don't have to do that and we don't have to take that risk. So let me know what you guys want. I'm going to see if we got any questions here on TikTok and I'm going to take this moment to quick follow a couple people back. And if you guys aren't hanging out on TikTok yet, why not? It is so much stinking fun. It's not just for kids, I promise. There's like, there's so many old people there. I'm not even the oldest. <laughs> like... People don't even look at me and go, hey, old lady, what you doing on TikTok? There's lots of us and we're having fun. We dance, we lip sync, we make food videos. And there is a huge and immensely growing keto community on TikTok. It is absolutely blowing up. I've only been there six months. And in the last six months, I've seen probably triple or quadruple the amount of keto posts. So help me, help me get up on TikTok and let's bring keto to the mainstream. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to, we're going to cringe them into keto. <laughs> oh my God, cringe into keto. And on that note, let's get back our taco song. And I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And let me know what you need to continue your journey and let's do it together. We don't have to struggle alone. We don't have to suffer. And we don't have to go without. If you want to share your story, reach out to me and let's do that. It's time. It's definitely time. And also, it's time for tacos. And then we're going to go into four times speed. Oh my goodness, we gotta do the super crazy speed and then I'm gonna let you go.